Yeah, I know when you're in high school and you're looking at your future, which you don't understand because you don't know how the world works, it feels like you only get one chance to make the right career decision out of year 12. And thankfully, that's not the case. You cannot stop learning. You'll have to return to learn new things as the world changes because the jobs will change now, but the jobs will keep on changing. And I think vocational learning has the fastest way to adjust to that, which is why it is now. Collecting and enhancing those skills is what is going to set you up for success. Just show me all the options. Every single one I have, just give me a choice. Whatever you go with, first off, you'll find that you're gonna be wanting to transition into something else anyway. Really, you just need to think about what you would love doing um, what would you actually enjoy doing and then find the career pathway for that and be it a, a, a vet course or, or uni. Have you heard that kind of advice before? Not from schools. We're not just looking for the 7 point GPA or the high ATAR score or you went to the right university. We're looking at the whole individual. So are you guys going to like eSports championships and <laughs> seeing who's kicking ass in video yes, games and then do. hiring from there? Really? And we do, we use gamification to bring people into the, the company. Hundreds of years ago, most of us worked in agriculture, yeah. in farming. And at that time, it would have been so hard to imagine a world where no one did that. And so for us right now, at this point in history, it's hard to imagine how our jobs are going to change. 